Hello, welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief 2. We're up to mission 13, Casing the Joint, which is everybody's favorite mission. So let's load up the end of Where Were We Last. It was Kidnap, wasn't it? And watch the briefing. Our guest, Cavador, just spilled his guts. Not literally. It wasn't necessary. Cavador was instructed to deliver two sorts of artifacts. Brass masks and... Those slave masks on Karras' servants? And some sort of agricultural device called a cultivator. Thirty of each. Each? So they're connected. We have to assume so. Unfortunately, our efforts to secure a mask have been uh, frustrated. Hmm. Listen, I think I know where we can lay our hands on one of those masks. There's a collector named Bram Gervasius with an interest in masks and headdresses. Last time I was down in the Lost City, he had a commission out for that sort of thing. Gervasius? I've had an agent on his case, and apparently the mechanists have been making overtures. Three guesses why. What can your agent give me on his house? Gervasius is planning an exhibition. He's bringing his collection with him from his summer home. The private exhibit areas are on the top floor. Access is by elevator, controlled from the top floor. It's almost airtight. Almost? There's talk of a secret passage. Unfortunately, its location remains secret. Then I'll need to find it. Now. We can't afford any delays later when the masks arrive. Karras is holed up inside the Mechanist Cathedral, and it looks like whatever he's up to, we're running out of time. So, uh, find out where the secret stairway is and how to access it. Open the door to it and make, to make sure. If you get a chance to find out what kind of correspondence the Mechanist uh, have been sending Gervasius, would save you having to do it on your return trip. Gervasius' per, uh, penchant for secret passages is sure to come in handy if you can just find them. Find at least seven secrets. You don't have much information on the interior of the mansion yet. Map out at least half of the mansion. Make a clean getaway to the streets in front of the house. If anyone knows you were here, casing the joint won't be worth much. Don't get into any confrontation with the locals. Okay. First off, I am playing the vanilla version. I'm not playing the uh, T-Fixed or the whatever version it's called, the one that's modified. Um, I'll explain that pretty early on. There's a situation that has changed so that you can't ghost it. This one isn't too bad of a change. Uh, it's understandable, but, but it's just annoying that it actually forces us to play with the original version, uh, which I guess I should have just done from the beginning anyway. Um, so this is not a good mission. Uh, obviously it's not. Uh, it's not a good mission in its own right, but then it becomes even worse when you have masks coming up afterwards. And I would say this is the one that is mostly... Um, it's to the detriment of this mission more than masks, I would say. Masks is actually a pretty good mission up front. Um, but this one is so obviously just squeezed or shoehorned in there because the team saw that they were running out of time or money or all of the above and they probably just came up last minute with we just have to have a mission here why don't we just do a mission based on a map we already have and then we are going to just make that a mission where we scope out or do reconnaissance for a mission coming up so that's basically what is done here i was thinking of ways to try to make this playthrough more enjoyable and more informative uh, I was thinking maybe we should have a challenge of mapping the whole mansion, but then we're visiting exactly the same map in the next mission. And the third floor is completely pointless to visit in this mission anyway. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this probably straightforward. There are a couple of challenging areas, um, especially coming up right in the beginning outside the mansion. But other than that, it should be pretty smooth sailing here. Can it be Supreme Ghosted? I am not sure. I think so. But I will discuss that towards the end of the mission. And uh, there is an area where 
it might not be an actual clean supreme run, but I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm going to say it is a possible supreme, successful supreme, and in New Dark, we can even perfect supreme it. If it's supreme bull at all, that is. We can't get all the loot. So we will do that. But I am playing with the vanilla version, so keep that in mind. Uh, we're not going to buy anything. We never do. We can for Supreme, and there's no need to do that either in this mission. Let's save it. Right here. So, we start outside the grounds. Now, of course, we don't have any of the interior mapped out yet because that's part of the objective. But there is a garden here. There's a courtyard, and you cannot get further north or east than this. And then there is the street area on the east-hand side. This is the front side of the building. Um, so that's where we have to go to end the mission. We can't go out here, which is a little bit sad. Uh, floor 2, equally empty for now. And floor 3, <laughs> also empty. It's just a shell right now. So not much to say about it, uh, really. Uh, there are nine secrets. We have to find seven of them. We can find all nine, which I'm going to do. Um, some of them are completely empty, too and have no purpose whatsoever. Um, the correspondence here didn't say it was optional, but it is, but that means it is required. Any optional objectives given up front for Supreme are, are required. It's just those that are not in your list that you can optionally trigger. Those are truly optional for Supreme. Those are not required to do. But if you trigger them, they are required to do. Anyway. Okay, in the starting pool here, there are three coins. There are tons and tons of these coin pairs around the mission in random locations, seemingly. Okay, so we're going to take four pieces of loot, purses from guards, there's one over here, outside the mission first. We're going to enter right here. Uh, now, in Old Dark, you had to use a couple of crates to mantle up this wall here. In New Dark, it's pretty easy. <laughs> One is on um, the guard over here. This guy over on the left here is, is quite alert. So we're going to sneak in here. There's a watcher up on the second floor, but that can't see us down here. So this guard here has a purse. He's pretty difficult, actually, to loot. Because he pivots so frequently. But there is a, a method to do it, but it does involve some randomness, so this might take a couple of tries, depends. First we're going to sneak over here as close to the light as we can. Make a save. And you see he has three facing angles. He faces west, northwest, southwest. If he is facing anything but southwest, We will be fine, which, of course, he turned right away. <coughs> it's just a matter of trying until we get it. This is when segmented runs are great. <coughs> Doesn't take too long, usually. Okay, now we might have it soon. Okay, so now we just have to go back. We cannot enter any of these doors, then we will get caught. He hears you walking inside here, too, through the door, actually.
Just a matter of being patient. <coughs> Hello? Hello. So he sees it at the far in the far distance if you go any faster. So this is like creep crouch, uh, strafing is what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. You can see he turns like every second or every other second here. Um, hey. Just a matter of waiting here. I don't like the looks of that. How did he... Oh, man, I was way far out from the wall. I wasn't aware of that. Why didn't you guys say anything? <coughs> completely out of my element there. There we go. That purse was worth 100, wasn't it? Yeah. And we took 60 in coins. Now we're going to rope arrow, or vine arrow, actually, up here. Hello? Can't do that without. Can't do that without making noise here, for sure. Let's see if we can... Creep, walk, jump. So here you can, you see that? Yeah, there you can see the watcher. So here's a wall. That wall wasn't there, or isn't there rather. It was there. This is the original version. But it isn't there in the T fixed version. Then you have a modification where they've removed that wall. Not sure why, but they have done so. And this roof here, all of this that is wood, um, is not wood in the T fixed version. And you need it to be wood in order to get the piece of loot from this guard. I'm not sure if there's a different way to get that piece of loot. I don't think so. I'm going to make a real save here, because this is the toughest piece of loot uh, we're getting. So we have to shoot an arrow. Like that. Yeah. So that it hangs down to the right of the lamp. <coughs> and now we have to back up so that we catch the rope. Or the vine like that. When he turns that way, we can drop. Intruder! And then with a little bit of luck, we will have him face that way so long that we can actually get down. You cannot drop directly onto the lamp here without taking damage. You do need... <coughs> you do need a rope, or a vine, rather. Gotta wait for him to turn. There. Basically has to... Well, I guess maybe we actually can wait. <coughs> if we drop here now... He cannot turn back that way. And of course we have to get back <laughs> up here too. So he can turn back... Um, towards us. It starts a little bit finicky outside here, but the rest of the mansion is, is actually pretty straightforward. <coughs> See, now he should turn back. Please go back. There we go. He doesn't hear that. We can 
take his purse. For some reason, he does not alert to that. He never has for me. <coughs> so we can't push him. We're not pushing him here. piece of loot is 200. Or no, uh, these two purses are 200. Now that you have to get back down, that's actually pretty difficult because well, you can drop here. It's, you can't hear their alerts here. It's tough to know if you've been detected, especially by this guard right in front of me here. Sneak all the way along the edge, you should, you should be fine. No quiet now. See, he did see me there. Because you go quite bright when you come to the end, so we have to be a little bit careful. Because you don't hear the settling remark until you are sort of... <coughs> there. That he didn't hear, and then I can drop down here. Yeah, we'll take that guy's purse a little bit later. So now we are but the balcony of the guy that we just stole the purse from. We're now walking to sort of the... How is the brightness here? Not... Yeah, pretty good. People haven't complained on my brightness or my videos being too dark recently, so I think that should be good here. There's another purse worth 100. These are pickable doors. This is in the far northwest. So we're obviously not going to pick those. There are only... I think there are only like three pickable doors. This is a garden that's completely empty. There's a couple plants in there, but that's it. And then the balcony doors there are also pickable, and these are also pickable. That's the last piece of loot outside. So that was another purse. So we took uh, four pickpockets there for 400 total. And then the three gold, no, the three coin stacks or coin pairs rather. Uh. <laughs> Mantle up here and here is our first secret have to find, or no, I guess you can't pick the lock on the other doors, too. Here. I guess that warrants another save. Uh, let's see, so now we are in the chapel, so now we are going to start <coughs> having the grounds mapped here. We don't need to worry about going to any rooms that doesn't have loot. If we stick to the rooms that have loot, we'll map over half and reach that objective, so that's our point. Um, and here is a chest with a flash mine. And here are two coin pairs, total... Um, 500, and here's another one on the window sill, 520. Let's see, head east. Over here is a coin pair, and then there's two more, I think, over here. Yeah. Total 580.
There's a watcher. We're just gonna go over to ah, the storage. I'm sure Gervasius has lots of things down here that he'll never miss. At least not until it's too late. This one is empty. This has five flares, I think. And this has a gold candlestick total 630. Now there are a total of three patrollers with purses on this floor. So I'm a little unsure of when we're going to get those. Let me see here. Is there a secret in here? There's a secret in one of these rooms. I can't remember which one. Maybe it's the next room. Yeah, it's probably over here. Yeah, we couldn't get to that room. Okay. Many of the rooms are very similar. Here is another coin pair. 650. And here there is a secret. The secrets are very obvious. It's not even centered. That's how little they... They bothered testing this mission. So here's the secret. And this switch operates the other side. I can never find all the switches here for them. Is it out here, maybe? Goodness, I want to close it. Where's the other switch? There it is. Okay. So in here there's a clock. All the clocks in this mission can be frobbed and you can um, move the the pointers around. Uh, that's only necessary to do for one clock though, which we're going to get to a little bit later. Okay, here are two more coin pairs, and I think there's another one on this counter. This is the control panels. The two top ones operate the watchers, which are currently on. You can switch them off if you want to. This middle one is just the light. And then these two are the turrets that are associated with the watchers. So the turrets are now off, but they will activate if the watcher triggers. So there's one watcher that's permanently on, but no, one turret that's on, but the watcher for it is off. All the other ones are in the condition that you see right there. So we have seven, ten here, okay. Now we are going to meet some patrollers here. There are two that are usually in the south to begin with. He is random, so I'm not sure if he's always going to end up in this room or what he is. Oh, no, he didn't come in here. <gasps> of course, now he did. Take his purse, total 810. And there's another one. Okay, we're going to wait for him too to come. He'll come over here. There are three purses, like I said, on patrollers. I want to get those right now, just so I have them. He's on his way over here. I don't know exactly where he's going to go. We might go in here. We'll 
just have to wait and see. So we've now visited the office, the workshop, and uh, chapel, and a couple other rooms down here. Okay, he does come in here, that's good. So two of the patrollers normally start in the south, and then the third one is in the north. <laughs> okay. This door leads to the foyer. I would not go there until you're ready to go there. This area here is completely empty. Uh, I guess we can go in here just to map it for now. There's another clock. And then there is a coin pair here. Total 930. Who's there? Okay, I'm hoping that he'll go in where the other guard went. That way they're following the same pattern, kind of. Yeah, good. Okay, the next two coins I was not able to get, and I don't think it's possible to get, uh, without new mantle. So in old dark, it wasn't possible. And that is in this office up here. New dark is pretty easy. You can just mantle in the window, but that's what you couldn't do in old dark. I was never able to to get in the window properly and get in here. Uh, but in here there is a coin pair here. And another one on the desk. Another clock here. The reason you can't get in here... ...is because of this turret. This turret is active. The watcher is off. And the turret will instantly uh, trigger to you. See? Ah! Soon as you come over there, it's not. There's not even an alert level. It's just like boom, alarm. So there is no way to, <clears throat> as far as I know, at least to avoid that. Okay. <sighs> there. So how much do we have? Nine seventy. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to listen to a conversation next. <coughs> Excuse me. That I'm not going to actually trigger. I'm going to reload afterwards. Because I want to hear it, because it has a hint. That sort of will make sense for the story. Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me. Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction in the ballroom, which goeth ever so slowly. He hath even demanded that all the clocks and other mechanist devices in the manor be inspected and repaired if there be faults found. Thy masters wish everything perfect for their celebration two weeks hence. Twas such a great task that in my haste I have misplaced my toolbox, which contained a part from one of the clocks. So we have a clock that doesn't tell time. Won't be the first time in this place. I'm still amazed you got all the metal eyes working. No, thou dost not understand. Tis that clock. <laughs> well then, you better get looking and find that piece before Lord Gervasius gets back. He'll have your head otherwise. Good luck, Foreman Hobart. <coughs> 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 
You are caught now, intruder! Builder, the here. smite the- Someone make a noise? What?
So here we have... There we go. There are two coin pairs right here. Two more over here on the bar counter, and then there are two more. Strange noises. Okay, I knew that. He hears you through the door and through the window. Unless you are careful here. There, 1200. That's what we should have at this point. So that's all there is in the bar slash restaurant area, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Part of the wall that just sticks out for some reason. Uh, the door that you saw into this area in the middle here is completely empty, or the room is empty. Here's another secret. Should be the sixth secret we have. So that takes us to the wall space. Um along the southern wall here. There's a similar one in the north, both on the first and the second floor. So that'll take us into all the different rooms along the southern edge of this floor. There's not one like this on the first floor. This opens into a room that is completely empty, like a little stage performance room. Another clock there. get... Yeah, this is the control room. There's a coin right here, and I think there are three more coins in this room. Yeah, over here. One, two, three. Total 1280. Let's, um... Actually, I'm gonna play another conversation here for you guys. That's not one I'm really gonna trigger either. Um, but... We can't go in there and trigger it. I don't think you can trigger that conversation for Supreme. Because the turret is on. So I'm going to turn the turret off. That turret right there. And we're going to listen to that conversation. You mean you lost a whole stack of books? No, the M stacks. It's a section of bookcases. They're just called stacks. I don't believe even you could lose a whole bookcase. I tell you the place is haunted. One minute I was on my way to Father Lord's letters, then I heard this terrible sound. And when I turned around, the M stacks were gone. Watch it. I'll say you got turned around all right. You don't understand. I dropped the letters on the floor and they were gone too. I looked everywhere. I don't know what you expect me to do about it. I'm a guard, not an exorcist. Some help you are. Okay, so that sounded like it was somebody from the library. Uh, and he has problems with a stack of books in the M stack, or... He said they were not stacks of books. Now, the guard that came along there, I want to see if I can wait for him to come out, because I want to take his purse. There's one patrolling uh, guard with a purse on this floor. I'm not sure if I'll be able to trigger him from here. But I don't want to move into the hallway because the turret is active and he will catch you immediately. That's why you can't get into this room right here. This is the room that we have to skip in Old Ark. But that I was able to get a new dark because you can mantle in through the window. Okay, I hope he doesn't come in here. Occasionally he does, but now we've saved, so... So he does come in here. Can we maybe get his purse then? As he leaves or something? do that. Okay, 
I've only really seen him in the north part, northern part of this floor. He won't hear that, right? That's closed. And we can go back out. Is it here? I think there is... Yeah, there should be a healing potion, I think. In this one. Yeah, there is. So now we're going to reach the library, um, which is here. And uh, there are two ways into that library. You can go down the hallway where they were having their conversation, but you can't do that um, when that turret is active. And for Supreme, you're not allowed to turn the turret off. So uh, we have to go into the library through the secret passage right here. There are a couple of things we're going to read in there. There are four books we have to read in total, I believe. I think so. My darling Lorna, I do not understand how your husband, my insufferable assistant, can treat you as he does. I swear I won't let him hit you again. I'll take you away from all this someday. Just have patience. There are few who can afford to keep such a library as my Lord Gervasius. It will take me time to find another patron such as he. Our nights together will be heavenly. Your Giles. So we have Giles and Lorna here. And Giles have observed Lorna's husband, whoever that is, um, mistreating her quite badly. So there is an apparition in here, but we have to... Terrible secrets. Terrible secrets. So in here, there's another book that actually opens a panel for a secret. That is our seventh secret. Either someone's hiding the evidence or these guys got lost in 10 feet of passage. So two bodies in there. That woman looks strikingly like the ghost that we just saw up here. So there are five things you have to do. You have to read four things and you have to find that secret. Got to make sure we don't get caught by the guy up there. Here's another readable. My darling Giles, oh my love, I swear I will leave Ashton just as soon as you give me the word. But if we are to be together, then you know we cannot stay here. It will be impossible for you to work with Ashton after we marry. And more importantly, I don't trust him. He would never give us any peace. I don't want to start our new life together with such troubles. Oh, darling, promise me we won't. Your fragrant daisy, Lorna. <laughs> that is quite a description. Okay, so now we have Ashton. That's Lorna's husband then, current husband at least, if we follow the story here. So this is the main entry door that you're supposed to take into the library. Here are two coin pairs. Two coin pairs and another readable. My sweet Lorna, I have the best news. I've discovered that Lord, Lord Holanthus, advisor to the Baron, has need of a new librarian. His library is selective, but is said to be one of the best in the city. I will speak of this to Lord Gervasius. He is a reasonable man and will give me my leave. Ashton is a capable librarian and will make a suitable replacement for me, which will appease Gervasius. Ashton will be happy with the promotion and that will have to be his consolation when he finds out he is losing you, your Giles. So this is then the plan that Giles has. Ashton seems to be Giles' assistant at this library. Um, and now Giles has gotten a new position opening up for Lord Holanthus. So they're going to get married, leave, and then since Ashton will become head librarian here, then that will be sort of his... He will be happy with that uh, as a consolation. Nobody 
Spotted here by him, you can see me upstairs. So that's fourteen forty. Let's see. Here is the final readable. Dearest Giles, your news is indeed wonderful. I treasure your letter as I do all that you send me. I must tell you, I had a close call last night. I was preparing to read your letter when Ashton came into our rooms. I hopped into bed and hid the letter under my pillow. Thankfully, when I woke in the morning, the letter was still there undisturbed. Soon we, we will be with, done with Ashton and the awful memories of this place. I will divorce him, and then we will tell Gervasius of your new situation. I am so glad I believed in you. Your sweet pea, Lorna. So you might have heard the sound there of almost the ghost or the apparition dying. So it disappeared. And that is what we needed to do to trigger the appearance of an objective actually upstairs. So this is a little bit of a cryptic, um, but mandatory. No, it's not. This is a part of the optional objective. Okay, so this is not mandatory. That would be pretty tough if it was. So upstairs in the library, there was only really two things to do. Got to go all the way over here to the southeast area. There are two more coin pairs. Total 1480, and then there are two letters on the floor. This is the objective, I believe. Lord Gervasius, I hope thou hast enjoyed the luxury and security which the builder's children have brought thee. In such a cruel and uncaring world as this, true friends much aid each other. Tis my hope that I might consider thee such a friend and colleague. I look forward to attending thy reception for thy exhibition. Tis said thou hast one of the finest manors in the city, and I eagerly anticipate a chance to visit it. I am told thou hast, hast most wondrous terrariums. It would please me greatly to see these in thy private exhibition rooms when I arrive. I know of what important thy collections are to thee of what import thy collections are to thee. But it, um, but it my hope that thou wouldst honor me with a gift, namely certain ancient masks and the cultivator artifact. It would of course be after the exhibition ends. These items are priceless and would be great favor to me if thou wouldst part with them willingly. I assure thee that I will make it worth thy while, both through further mechanist gifts and through the gift of a certain painting by Durant, uh, which I'm told thou hast been trying to acquire. Master Karras. Looks like I'll be able to get one of those cultivators when I come back. Yeah, that is true. So we can actually drop this one here because that checks off the objective of reading the correspondence. And there's another readable too here. My Lord Gervasius, it comes as a great shock to me to have to tell you that uh, head librarian Giles and my wife, my dear Lorna, have run away together. I am beside myself with this loss. I cannot stay here. This place holds too many painful memories. I don't understand how my dear friend and my wonderful wife could do this to me. I have decided to take a position as a librarian with Lord Holanthrus. I want you to know that I have only the utmost esteem for my lord, but I cannot stay here with these memories haunting me so. Your lo lowly servant, assistant librarian Ashton. So Ashton has then killed Giles and uh, his wife and is now taking the position that was offered to Giles or that Giles was planning on getting. Ash, you are a bastard. Let's see. Drop this here. <gasps> Go back here now. So let me show you something or we're actually going to take this route now, so... Now we come out on the southeastern side of where their conversation was. Right here. Uh, but you can't trigger the conversation from this end. It only triggers when you go out in the hallway 
further out. And here is a clock, and you can clearly, no, not clearly, you could in the, uh, in the non-Necroate version, but here it's not too apparent, but there is a secret door there. So you can use the cuckoo on this clock. Uh, this is that clock that the priestess downstairs talked about. You can set the time to noon or midnight, whatever it is, and that reveals the secret entrance to the third floor. So that is the door that we need to operate. Uh, we can head up to the third floor real quick, but the third floor is completely and utterly empty. Go. There's a guard right over there. You can see him now in that window. Okay, and uh, there's a secret entrance there too that opens when that opens. So that's open right now. Um, we are going to visit this floor in masks. Um, there are three exhibition rooms in the south, three in the north. Uh, there are two, or there are three masks in this mission as well. Uh, one in the south and two in the north, I think. But they're completely uh, valueless, uh, and they're just junk items. Um, well, they stay in your inventory, but they don't, they're do not they not worth anything. Uh, there's nothing else to do on this floor. There are two patrolling guards, but there's nothing else to pick up, no loot, nothing. Um, uh, this actually brings me to the ghost challenge for this one. And this is a pretty easy one. I just want you guys to get through this hallway. Um, get past this window into the other side of the hallway and come back for Supreme. So without getting any Supreme busts. So stand, start here, go to the other end, go back for Supreme. Okay, we are going to close this one and you can... It was to around 10 o'clock, wasn't it? So we'll leave it there. This clock, I believe, actually goes. It, it goes time... And that's why the door closed when this one goes away from midnight. So when it goes end up ends up at one o'clock, then the secret door will close. Okay, now we are gonna go back this way. Let me just check here. We are we where are we going to go? See, we are going to I think the best thing is to go out this way, isn't it? I want to get to the northern area now, and I think if I go across and take this route. see you this far. Yeah, this is the way we should go right now. We should have half of the map soon, I think, too. That is not gonna need to work. I don't know if he comes over in here or if he continues. 
We're going to have to go into that door. the door. If we open it first and then run through afterwards, we should be good here. So this is the trophy room. And here, there should be a couple of coins in here. Yep, over here. 15, 20. And then there is a secret door from the trophy room and into A dining room in here. So that's that's one of the few secrets that just has one door attached to it. So that was the um, was that the last secret? No. I can't remember. I lost count. Now in this room there are two floating lucky coins or coin pairs. In Tfix I think there's a table underneath it. And here is another secret out to, uh, we're going to go to that and not too long, out to the hall that goes on the northern side of all these rooms. In here there's also a chest with a noisemaker arrow. Here is, is there a switch for this? I'm not sure where the switch is. There's so many switches and they're just random places. Am I going to bother looking for it? I guess we'll just take this. Oh yeah, there's two switches in here. That's right for the other door. Okay, so now we're going to head east. Um, we have covered the east room, but there is a room with a coin pair on the far eastern side here that we need. Gosh, all the rooms are so similar, it's almost impossible. So this is the, what is that, the northeastern office, this office that we took from below. So that's the office you can get in there. That would almost be a little challenge in itself. I'm not going to make that an official challenge, but you can get in there. Go into this hallway, you can get in here pretty easily. There's no guards here. Here, or you could have taken that from the outside, but I wanted to get the count for that. Okay, did we get the... Oh yeah, we got mapped half of the mansion now. And we have also found seven of the secrets, of the nine secrets. So here's a watcher that you can turn off if you want to. 1580 is our total. Back like that. We're going to pass the dining room and the trophy room now. This one opens two doors. 
yours, I think. So that goes into the trophy room. This goes into a control room. <laughs> Just an empty room, great. Oh yeah, in here, there's one coin pair, very well hidden one behind the couch here. I think there's another one over here. Yep, yeah, 1620. Oh, and here you can't get out of this room. Um, yeah, secret. So we have to go all the way to the end now, and there's a bedroom that is actually a little bit tough to get into. Is there a switch for this one? I don't know. I thought there were switches on both sides. Time that watcher. Coin pair over here, and then we have to get into that door right there. And now the guard comes. Great. Hoping I'm not getting spotted here. That guard actually goes into that room. Uh, it's an office slash bedroom where there are three more coin pairs. Those are the last three on this floor. There's no secret entrance in and out of that room. One, two, three, seventeen hundred. That's perfect. And in here there is an empty trunk. Okay, you know what? Let's do that then. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need to do. So now we can go in here. So now we're in that northern part, the bottom floor. There's one more patroller here that we have to... There's no coins here, I think, in this control room, but there are some in the kitchen. Two spice bags. 
Three bottles of wine, total 1930. to this door now, I think. Yeah, that'll take us to a storage room. <sighs> One goblet. Two goblets. Three goblets. I think there's a plate in here, and then there's a fourth <sighs> goblet behind. Behind here. been up here? No, we have not. Two gold candlesticks over here as well. Um, worth 100, total 2355. It's just easier to get to that upper storage room from down here than it is from the hallway upstairs. Okay, I'm going to end up making a real save because I need to look for that be able to head across here pretty easily. Now we do need to be on the lookout for another guard, the last guard with the purse. But he might be on the south side right now, so we might have to go looking for him. Now here is our eighth out of nine secrets. So that leads to the upper wall space corridor in the north on this floor. Right here. Uh, now that will take us into the dining room or the servants' quarters mess hall. And then there are two stacks of, no, one stack of copper coins, one stack of silver coins. This one is empty, I believe. So 24, 25. That's what we should have right now. Let's see. East. And we should be able to get in here, and this is the bath area. Here is a coin pair on the railing. 2445, I don't think there's anything in these. Nope. And also in the restroom, there's a coin pair on the sink. And then we get to the end over here. Okay. There. Oh. Get that tapper! Okay, I wanted to see if they actually, if any of them had the purse, because I'm 100 behind here. Okay, why on earth can't I go through here? Okay, neither of those two guards have a purse. I'm gonna. What's over there? Go look and see if I can find him. He's probably in the south then. Hmm. Yeah, that should be him here. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to head down there and get that later. We don't have a lot left here. In fact, we only have this coin pair left. And over
over here. This is in the far northeastern area. And this is a locked door. No, it's not a locked door. Oh yeah, but on the upper floor, sorry. On the second floor, this is the elevator. We didn't actually get to the elevator, but it gets marked anyway when we get to the northeastern area. I don't think there's a way to get to the elevator, and this is just an empty barracks room. So that leads to the foyer, where we are supposed to go next. But in this room, there is the last secret, which is utterly pointless. Opens a door to a room that is completely empty. So that should be all nine secrets. Now we have two purses left, one from the guard in the foyer. So he is not a problem, because he's stationary. But we have to go get the other purse from the other guard. So we are going to leave via the foyer here. You can come from the north, which was my plan. Uh, but since the guy with the purse is on the south now, then I will have to come from the south, which is not a problem. It's actually slightly easier to come from the south. Mm. Thought I heard something. Okay, so he is... Still hearing that door. I'll have to wait a little bit. Oh, I want his purse! So annoying this that I can't get it. I can do this, which is so frustrating because I have to move around him then. I might be able to do this. I'll try a few times here. I think I can do this. Oh, I probably would be able to do that if I'm a little bit faster here. Yeah, we got it. Good, so 25, 85, that's 100 behind where we're supposed to be at the end of the mission, and that is from the last guard in the foyer. Let's give it a real save here. So I will explain something right now. We're going to trigger that conversation that we heard earlier between the priestess and um, the guard in the foyer. Now we have to sneak out during the conversation south. Um, the only way to avoid a first alert is to use their conversation. You can sneak out afterwards without getting an alert from him until you pick the lock on the door. Then he will hear you and he will give a first alert. Now, we can utilize the fact that they're having their conversation to avoid that that alert. Um, however, this is a little tricky situation because when you pick the lock on a door, it usually takes two to three minutes before a guard will settle down and give the other remark, the second remark. So, as soon as we come out to the street level here, the mission's gonna end. So we will need to close the door quickly, but then the mission will end two seconds later and they will be in the middle of their conversation still. So if you go out to the street and do this method before you finish all the objectives, then you can wait on there in the street and then he will give a settling remark, indicating an alert two or three minutes later, even though you pick the lock during their conversation. So he technically does give an alert, but 
you are never around to hear it because the mission has ended already before you get the settling remark from the alert and you don't hear the actual first alert because they're having their conversation during it. So I don't know if this is an alert or not. I don't think so. I think we are good here. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh. We have to wait for that guard to go through. Let's hope we don't get caught here. Oh, I didn't know this door closed on its own. So yeah, we will avoid both the first alert and the settling remark because we're using his conversation and we are ending the mission before he gets time to alert again. <coughs> Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to wait for these guards to come through. <coughs> yeah. We're just going to have to sit back here and wait. So, discussing that situation a little bit further then. Uh, Peter Smith, one of the original authors of the ghost mode and writers of the supreme ghost rules or no he didn't write the supreme ghost rules but he has been involved since both of the rule sets were, were made uh, he said that a principle that the original ghosting community used way back in the early 2000s was that uh, if you can reproduce or create a scenario that is reproducible where you construct a scenario where the enemies don't alert, uh, then it's you, you can't say that they were supposed to alert. If they don't alert, they don't alert, and if you have created a scenario where they don't alert, that's only due to your ingenuity and your um, clever gameplay. That's what a ghost is supposed to do. You're supposed to avoid situations that will lead to alerts. Whatever way you can do that in a non-exploitive way, uh, that is fine. So I think we're good here. Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me. Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction and so they heard me there, because I could hear them move. If they leave their posts, that means that they are in the second level hunt mode, and that is not allowed. Then you are Sergeant clear. Porter, it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation... We can't have him stationed that way. Sometimes he does that, too. Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello. Why is he not moving? Let's wait to trigger it. Doesn't he turn occasionally? He's supposed to turn, this guard. Why is he not turning? <coughs> Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, okay, I have what no clue that? what's going on here. I don't Thou know why knowest. he's not turning. <laughs> Is that you? Sergeant Porter. Now. Okay. <laughs> Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I erred. Sergeant Porter, it would appear that I... Why did he not... Why did, did he turn the one one time, but not the other time? He's supposed to be facing 
into the room, obviously. What was Sergeant Porter? So when he sees me, he turns. When he gives an alert first, he turns. Sergeant Porter, okay. it would appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me. Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction in the ballroom, which goeth ever so slowly. He hath even demanded that all the clocks what, what are you and doing other here? Device oh, now she saw me. Oh, yeah. The fact that he is not turning is just annoying. Sergeant Porter, it wouldst appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me. Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction in the ballroom, which goeth ever so slowly. He hath even demanded that all the clocks and other mechanist devices in the manor be inspected and repaired if there be faults found. Thy masters wish everything perfect for their celebration two weeks hence. Twas such a great task that in my haste I have misplaced my toolbox, which contained a part from one of the clocks. Okay, that was successful because nobody moved and I was able to just get the doors closed before we ended. And I had to wait for that guard upstairs to do that. That was, uh, yeah, that was just weird. So we avoided any alerts there. Because, like, like I said a couple of times, we picked the lock during their conversation and we ended the mission before the settling remark was, was appearing. So anyway, in my opinion, this was a successful, perfect, supreme ghost run of casing the joint. Um, in Old Dark, it's not possible to perfect supreme. At least I haven't f figured out how to get the 40 loot in the southeast office upstairs. You cannot mantle through the window in Old Ark because um, a new mantle requires or new mantle enables that to be possible. Anyway, uh, 47 minutes, 55 seconds, found 2685 loot out of 2685. Pockets picked nine out of nine, locks picked um, one. So all those nine are purses. There were four purses outside and five inside. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt taken or healing taken, nothing and nobody killed. No iron beast destroyed or disabled. We found all nine secrets and time so far, <laughs> 20 hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. Okay. Loot so far, 24, 844 and total damage dealt nine. Uh, that is one from kidnap and eight from running interference. So what are we going to say about this mission? I think it's a pretty terrible mission. I rank it a little bit higher than Trace the Courier. I think I gave Trace the Courier 40% or 4 out of 10. I'll give this 4.5, 45%. It is so obvious that this is a very last minute creation that they pulled out of their rear end essentially to just get a 15th mission in there. It's obvious to me that Mask was made first because it's complete. This one was made as... Um, as an appendage, essentially, to the other missions in the campaign. Maybe I'm wrong there, but that's what it seems like. Okay, uh, enough about this mission. It's it's so it's bad on so many levels. Um, I'm going to look forward to continuing T2X, which is, has the cure next, which is a mission that I don't remember very much from. It's an undead mission. And then we are going back to masks, and we're going to try to just forget casing the joint and do masks separately, which is a much better mission than this. So until then, or until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this run, and uh, stay safe, guys. I will see you around. Bye-bye.